Hey there, guys, and welcome back to... Today we're reviewing an episode of the TV series. This one is called Purple Juice, which, if Judy B is a graduation girl, is anything to go by, things aren't going to go very well. Since this is a TV show, some things are different than the shorts. Like in the pilot, Mr. Wuko's here, but unlike that, Neo has gray hair! <laughs> The intro has the same things as the short version, but it's cleaner and brighter. Some key differences are the ducky, ducky. Beckfist is unfortunately absent. <laughs> Mona acknowledges her mom, who's having a really great time over there until the YMS theory takes hold. The evidence of a car accident is represented by a sign crashing straight through her window. The fact that they use the split road sign is supposed to represent that her parents are now both split in half. And Nana whips the door like a queen! <laughs> the gas from the shorts is in the same place, even though Mona isn't shown gasping. <laughs> barks before they run off screen. <laughs> the episode begins with Nana's beautiful singing. <laughs> I knew I picked a great to start on. The camera pans through the yard, showing a bee surrounding a thirsty ruster for landing on Mona, who shows us a big cup of purple juice. She's holding her stuffed chicken, Bleeper, which doesn't seem very... <laughs> Oh no, don't drink it, Lever. You know what happens in Judy B! Smelly juice. Mm hmm. Oh, good, it's just smelling. Mona drinks the juice, which is pretty entertaining. No drink for Fleefer! Remember your forefather! And he drank it. Now that Fleefer is all juiced up, we get a sequel to the Moa Depression short, and it's actually pretty devastating. Outside and says that Mr. Wooka has a special puppet show in store. The Goldster stops by and greets Mona and Nana with a very special comment from Nana. Hey, kiddo, you look good. Oh, Nana, you're looking very well. Oh, Mr. Wooka, oh, thank you. Is <laughs> Mona tells Mr. Wooka what happened with Fleeper, and Mr. Wooka's sounding a bit tipsy over there. There's some juice on. Well, what happened there, Mona? Nana in the YMS theory much. And what does the car crash turn into? Life with Nana, who is now completely responsible for Mona. But unfortunately, Nana is an alcoholic. Then there's some substantial world building with a visit to Mr. Wooka's backyard. His puppet plays about basketball players, which is okay. Ball! Basketball! Basketball! But it features an amazing cute gem from Mona and Nana. High five, oh, Nana! Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Aw, that's adorable. Once we get back to their yard, Ruster shares his water with Mona and Fleeper. And there's a bit of Nana and Mr. Wooka shipping. <laughs> Mr. Wooka. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Yeah, look at Fleeper. <gasps> wow. But are you sharing your water there, Russell? Yes. Oh, what a good sharing dog. Uh -huh. well, he doesn't look to be getting that clean, though, is he? Huh? Maybe we should take him over to the garden holes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll clean him right up. Yeah, right through here. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud. The trio go to the garden holes. Nana looking thick with three C's, and hose off Leaper, and it works! Mona helps Nana put Leaper up to dry, and they have a sequel to the Circle of Life meme from the pilot. The they go into the kitchen, where Nana does a total grandma thing, and gives Mona a Tupperware bowl full of leftovers. It's not as iconic as a pickle scene, but it has some cute moments. <laughs> some food in the cutest way. Hey! Hey, Rusher, you want some food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay! Share <laughs> food! Yeah! For Rusher. And after some sharing, Rusher puts his bone in the dish. Thanks, you, Rusher! Oh, Are you done your lunch now? Which might not be proper English, and they go into the living room for some story time. I, I don't remember putting a bone in your fruit salad. Oh, that bone for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay, you coming? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. mm. Ooh. That's comfy. Now come on up on money. Mm -hmm. That's a girl. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Are you comfy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness there, Russell. Yeah. Are you tired? Mm. Yeah, well, why, don't, why don't you go out and have a nap? Huh? Yeah, go have a nap and, and we'll read a story. Yeah. That's a good story. Instead of reading Jenny B, they read a story of three people going on a picnic with some chicken. Yummy. Mm. After the cute story, Mona and Nana fetch Fleefer and Mona uses her manners, which is a big improvement from the pilot. What character development? There's a heartwarming hug and an even more heartwarming Nana moment. You're welcome, dear. How about a little hug and a kiss? Yes. Hello. You're Fleefer. Come on, Fleefer. Come on, Fleefer. Here we go, Fleefer. There we go. It's days like this that make me proud to be a nana. Aww. Sleeper hangs out with a sleeping wrestler as Mo's mom stops by to pick up Mona. Oh, my oh, baby. Oh, oh, nana. Good oh, my time. Bye, nana. Bye, Bye, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Mona and her mom drive home as the credits play. I love the little message at the end with special thanks to all Nas everywhere. How sweet! And thus ends our first look at one of the TV episodes. Despite Nas' gray hair and Mr. Wooka sounding a bit drunk, this was a very charming episode and I absolutely loved it! I can't wait to see what future episodes of the show have in store, and of course, the shorts too. So if you liked the episode and you want to see it in full, you can check that out in the description. You can also check out the pilot, which we reviewed a long time ago, in the description. And you can even check out 
the Wayback Machine video we did for Nanaland.net. That will be in the description as well. A lot of links, I know. And you can also check out the previous Nanaland part. That will be in the end screen. And you can comment, like, subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon, especially Nanaland. And you can follow us on Tumblr, Dina, Instagram, to get big sites. And we will see you in the next one. Nana. Land.